Pablo doing it at both ends of the floor. What fill in he's been as Clark fires, measures the three and puts Melbourne back on top. Bryce Cotton up, so he's going to get this tag team all game. This is a great matchup that we're going to see here. Shot clock works to single digits here. Delver Dover takes on Cotton, feeds Clark. Good work from Henshaw to get out there quickly. They left, Travers alone, that's his third dunk in the game. Excellent defensive play. First block of the game for Melbourne. Brisbane already with two in that category. Clark over Jude, knocks down the three. Blow wide down and then too many wide open looks for Ian Clark, the bullets. And now Flynn Cameron with it. Shot clock rolls to single numbers for Melbourne United. They lead by 16. Clark putting on a show high off the glass. Touch of glass there. Room out here early and he's had a really good start to this one. Seven points. Another strip. This time Clark and they're off to the races. Bowen again. And they are full of running Melbourne United. I think you're right, Pete. I think we've just got to slow down Phoenix, make it a nice slow game, but we're just letting United get out and transition and just get easy buckets. And there's Dunkies. another one. Golding with two threes leads Melbourne scoring as well. And then here is the little pocket pass from Clark. Ariel Hook 40 knows exactly what to do with it, but down the other end. Apart from that, Jordan Waller Jules had some really good looks right at the rim that he just hasn't been able to finish. Clark this time plays through the contact. Without Chris Golding being that focal point, they needed another offensive spark because you're right. Every possession. Clark from the side. It's almost automatic now. Well, it is. Just when they needed it. Vasilievich comes up with something for Wiley. Now it's a stop. Now it's all about getting stops. Oh, oh if you don't mind, hook Porty. Clark. Oh, what a look. To Bowen. Right. Three players with eyeballs on him. Had that one in his pocket the whole time. I'm not sure. That's a risky policy because I understand you've got to protect the player, but it's a long time to be sitting on the bench. And especially if you expect for him to come in and do something in the second half. Provided service for minutes, and that was a nice move right there. Time against Clark. Goes with the left hand over the top of Harrison. It's been struggling up for two hours. I did get a call from Bondi asking why you were there. <laughs> Clark played through the bump. block shot that results in a bucket. So he's number two from the field now. Double figure lead for the first time in the game for Melbourne United. Clark feeling it and continuing to knock them down. Three of five from deep. I think Delhi just had a few words to say to Miller. And Miller didn't take too kindly to it, but one player that has said eight. The Gazies. Great man will be in fine form as well, no doubt. Hickey loses it. Ian Clark in transition. Gets his way inside with a pretty move. More than respectable, especially when you combine it with all his other assets and attributes. Six points early on two of two for Gary Clark. As at the other end, the birthday boy Ian Clark. That's 100% by design. They are going to test Todd Blanchfield's lateral movement. And if they get into a situation where he's got Clark, you just see that. Delavan over comes out. Ian Clark has Shayili wide open, and it bounces through. Just keeping an eye on Chris Golding, who went from shooting those free throws straight to the bench and behind the scenes, and it looks like he's got an issue with his right hip, right foot. Just doing a bit of work there. He's... Travis back out to Clark. Shot clock at three. He glides inside, doesn't panic, and finds Hook Porty. Shot it at 40% in both games one and two. Clark, nice touch. His opening bucket of the night in this grand final series. Clark, with all class, crosses over McVeigh and drains the three. Now Clark, smooth as silk to the cup. 